Hello, hello. I am back with another video. Back at my poke. Before I work out today, I want to kind of like piggyback off of yesterday. Yesterday I talked about um, how everyone is you pushed out and how we're pretty much going through different stages of ourselves, of our faith, of our mental, of our consciousness. And so we experience other people and, and they reflect pretty much which in which they reflect pretty much the things which are inside of our subconscious mind. As above, so below, as within, so without, right? But today I want to talk about self-concept. Because the root of everything that we have inside of our subconscious mind stems from our self-concept. And where do we get this self-concept from? Well, you know how we talk about the seven chakra pools of energy that uh, correlate with the different organs inside of our body? Well, that same seven zeros through seven it's kind of like our default setting um, when i say zero through seven i'm not no longer talking about the chakra pools of energy anymore i'm talking about our age or our uh, youthful days you know from the moment we were born up into seven years old our body our brain our mind subconscious mind was just absorbing information like a sponge from our parents our grandmother the uh, foster care whoever raised you whoever was around you the emotions that they carried the the beliefs that they had you know we, we kind of soaked that up <laughs> and so that kind of became our default setting and so our self-concept kind of like mimics that that's why you know even even with our medical history you know they'll say oh it's genetics well we pick up the same information all things are energy so we're just kind of like repeating the energetic form of what was already created what we already ex absorbed <clears throat> so when we look back at the things that we created up until this moment in our physical reality, we can see a pattern and this will really help people to help heal their traumas, for example. Like, I'll, I'll speak of me. For example, I wrote a book and I share with you all already that my father wasn't present in my life, right? So my zero through seven had to, if I could, you know, not that I remember it all, but i'm pretty sure that it had some arguments from my parents i'm pretty sure there was disagreements because okay at five years old they were you know when i turned five they were going to get a divorce and so i'm pretty sure there was some tension in that home but when what i can remember as a little girl is me always trying to work hard to be a hard worker you know to clean around the house i used to initiate cutting the grass and things like that i used to try to be a student you know i used to do these things working hard thinking working hard being a good girl was gonna bring daddy back like right you know that's just from my youthful mind i thought that that was gonna be the thing that helped my uh upbringing better and helped bring back the love of my life which was my father right when that didn't work, then I tried to, you know, do just the opposite of that. I would run away. I would, um, you know, try to fail on purpose, you know, just to get his attention, you know, just trying to find ways to get my dad back. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm saying that, excuse me, I'm saying that because if I look back at my life, even though I begin to one day realize that it wasn't coming back home, if I look back at my life, I have been a worker bee. I've been a worker bee because that was like all that I knew, all that I understand. Now, in my zero through seven, I have must have seen hard work, must have heard so, or, or was around somebody that may have believed that also, that, you know, hard work pays off, you know? Uh, they weren't conscious beings, you know, I'm the one that broke that mindset in the family They were really religious. They were hard workers, you know 
And we, and, and even with my mom with religion, you know, it was that long suffering type religious background that we came up in. So if I look over my life, I could see that I worked so hard being a mom. Nothing is wrong with this, being a mom and, and going to school and being a wife and, <laughs> and wanting to work out and having a business and having all these product lines and, and then you know, doing projects around the house and <laughs> and traveling and, and I mean, I don't want to share too much of it because it's masculine energy that I know that I have exuded in some areas because I was just, uh, in my mind, hard work pays off, right? And you get this sense of pride of accomplishment after you finish certain things, you know, that you know that you put your hands together to do. But it was some things that I really didn't have to do. Some things that were really just deeply rooted in, 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 in so what I would call trauma of being a hard worker, overachiever in my life. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so this is why, one of the reasons why I kind of pulled back off of social media too, because I mean, I was doing social media, I was TikTok and I was YouTube and I was Instagram and I was, I have a product line and then I'm trying to launch this business and I'm trying to do the food truck and then I'm doing the soaps and the lotions and it was a lot. And when I pulled back, it was like, you know, and I don't even know if I'm even going to post this video. I'm just here talking to myself. It was just like, uh, wow, all of the noise stopped. Wow. Why was I working so hard? Why I know about consciousness. Why am I doing, doing, doing? Why am I not just being? Hmm. So all of this set me up to get to the just being stage of my life. Just being. Because really the, the power comes in through thought. <laughs> the power comes in when you release the resistance. So with all of the hard work, if I would just release the resistance, everything would just come in into play the universe will make way and yield for me and bring to me the things that I was always wanting and that's what I'm experiencing right now in this time where I really wholeheartedly and physically mentally can be still and know that I'm gone so it's about a self-concept is what I'm saying here wait a minute okay sorry about that that was an important phone call but back to what i was saying it's about a self-concept here it's about how you view yourself if you view yourself or have a belief in your mind that you have to work hard well so shall it be if you have a belief in your mind from that zero through seven that life is not fair <laughs> so shall it be <laughs> so shall it be that will play out for you your self-concept that 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 maybe that you're not good enough or that maybe that you're not deserving of love <laughs> so shall it be and so then you'll begin to find people that's going to yield to you that very feeling that's vibrating right there well you he's a he's let's say he's a abusive man well you you've been abusing yourself mentally too so there you go perfect match it doesn't necessarily mean that you are abusive too it's just that you're close to the frequency as that particular being in the way that you feel about yourself your self-concept And that's why it is so important. That's why I was teaching about when we were we were on this 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 court this um this walk in trail the other day to talk about the good things of how you feel. Talk about feeling happy, feeling joy, feeling feeling love loving and worthy and feeling freedom. When I was talking about how how you see others. <laughs> That others won't, you know, because how you see others is what you're going to get from those others. And you could only see others based upon what the concept 
that you have, your self-concept that you have inside of you. This is why they say hurt people hurt others. Because <laughs> if you already hurt and everybody you see, you, you <laughs> it's going to be a reflection of that hurt. Everybody you experience. You going to show them, okay, that you can hurt them in some kind of way. And they already are on the frequency of, of, of the a low self-concept. So they welcome you. In the beginning, it might be nice. But then, then, then later on, you going to show up. When you have in your heart and in your mind, your thoughts, it's going to show up. That subconscious mind is going to show up because that's all that exists in the physical reality. So how do you change that? How do you change that? You stop looking through these eyes. And you use those thoughts. Your thoughts become your reality. Your thoughts, how you feel about yourself becomes your new self-concept. You become like in the biblical text, Lazarus that was dead. That had to be risen from the dead. And come forth. So your old self-concept, that zero through seven, that needs to be put to death. It needs to be put to sleep, thought by thought by thought. And then when you put it to sleep, you say the words, Lazarus, come forth. And that's equivalent for the new you or your imagination or your new renewing of your mind to come forth. Because if not, whatsoever man thinketh, so is he. So if not, you're going to still be living through that zero through seven over and over. You're just going to be on rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. If not, you're still going to be living life in the Old Testament, the old contract. The zero through seven represents the old contract. The renewing of the mind represents the New Testament. It's all about your self concept it's all about you flowing from the different stages of the old testament and behold being resurrected resurrected in the new testament as the christ anointed one that uses its imagination that is born again <laughs> that think it not robbery to be equal with god why why should it be robbery to be equal with god when God in the book of Genesis created through thought in the beginning was the word and the word was God and God said let that be that means whatever it is in the physical or this so called creation let there be something new let there be what, what, what I create in my mind to be new. Not what I see right here. Let there be new based upon how I feel about myself. Not what I experience from zero through seven. It's called the renewing of the mind. And it requires work, but a lot of people don't want to do that type of work. Yeah, mm-mm. Because that's work. <laughs> that's the mental work. But all is mental, though. All is mental. Everybody in this physical reality is already creating their reality. They're just creating by default. <laughs> but when you're really conscious and can really say that you are a conscious creator and have the ability to be still in those quiet moments, you realize, wait, wait, I'm really, really, really running this show.
and more than anything i have been on so many different platforms for so long but at more than anything any moment when i was able to be still and i pulled back from social media i pulled back from making products i was like wait hold up i didn't know this thought was in there wait 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 hold up I didn't know this concept was in there. And so then it become a thought by thought process of renewing mind, a thought by thought process <laughs> of renewing the concept of destroying the old contract. I'm hopeful that I'll just be able to help at least one person and hey, really, that one person is me. Because here's the thing, really and truly, nobody else have free will in my universe. Really and truly, once I change me, I change everybody else because everybody is me. <laughs> so really and truly, if I change that self concept in here, Everybody else going to have to love me the way that I love me. If I get rid of that doubt that's in here for the things that I want, this right here has to change and show me what I created in here. <laughs> this is why it is written, ye are gods. This is why nobody, nobody really have free will in your universe because you could look at them <laughs> as the person you want them to be, not the person that you see them as. This is what the Christ anointed one knew how to do in that allegory text. <laughs> when the blind man came, he didn't see the blind man as being blind. He saw him with his vision again. Lazarus when Mary and Martha told uh, Jesus that that Lazarus was dead no Jesus was like nah 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 I don't I don't see it like that Lazarus not dead Lazarus is sleeping <laughs> see see you have a different self-concept you have a different imagination my thoughts are not your thoughts and your thoughts are not my thoughts because I am from above ye or from below <laughs> It takes work, though. The men to work. The men to work. To let the old man die. And be born again. Not by entering into your mother's womb a second time. No, Nicodemus. <laughs> So during the day, I just want to leave this with you during the day on this downtime. I I am manifesting right now. I'm, 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 I'm changing. I'm not posting these videos until everything that I am wanting becomes solid in my physical reality. I am renewing my mind. And during the day, I, I'm leaving this behind so you could understand how I felt while I was doing this here. During the day, thought by thought, I, I just find the good. Oh, do I find the good? And I pay attention to that good. I just left the little vegan uh, shop. And on my way there, I didn't want to listen to nothing. I just wanted to be quiet in the car. And you know your mind your mind just keep on roaming is it you know his feminine energy is looking for something to give birth to so you got to give you have to decide where you gonna give it to give birth to you know what next thought is gonna give birth to in the next thought and the next thought and the next thought because it, it just loves to just wander away because you are a creator creating you are a manifester manifesting that's your job here being um to learn how to be a master creator a master manifester that's your job so on my way there 
I just paid attention to the things that I, I did want more of. The sky was so beautiful and and I'm manifesting a move. And where I'm moving, oh, the sky is beautiful. And so I was like, whew, the sky reminds me of the sky in such and such place. Oh, I love this sky. Look how beautiful the sun is. Oh, that's the kind of car that I like right there. I love how smooth this road is. You know, just pay attention to the good. Focus on the good to get more of it. Don't you let that girlfriend, that messy girlfriend keep calling you with her drama. No, no, no. Let that go. Let that go. You ain't got no time for that to be lingering in your head. You don't have time for that doubt, that energy. Let it go, baby. But what you gonna find is those type of people ain't gonna be calling you no more because your frequency is increasing and you, you're not even gonna see. You gonna be bobbing and weaving from them type of people. When you learn how to really be still, drop everything that's on the plate and know that I am caught. And before I go to bed at night, I make sure, even though I like to listen to, you know, maybe some um, high frequency, you know, energy, 432, the 369, nine, three uh, hertz energies i like to listen to that but before right there in that drift stage because you got to realize i'm coming from the physical and returning back to the larger part of me that all-knowing part of me i'm leaving behind that point zero one i'm going on into that 99.99 energy that zero point energy where all creation starts from where all that there is exists so right there at that drift stage which ha happens to be like like that um delta wave like which happens to be the same wavelength we were on at zero to seven years old that's why we're always in our imagination always in our always in our mind even like little babies you know how little babies you will say that oh they must see an angel when their eyes are just wandering all over and they just are smiling <laughs> because they're tuned to a, another frequency but we can reach that frequency right there when we're drifting off to sleep and right there when we're about to wake up and come back into this physical reality those two precious moments where we can sit there and just imagine and baby you imagine right there and that puts you right in alignment of the things that you want so right there you can imagine everything that it is that you're wanting imagine you're at the end of that thing though like like see yourself in the end you 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 want a new house for example see yourself already in that house remember when when you were wanting like looking back like I'm in it now man I remember when <laughs> I wanted this house imagine walking around in your house barefooted imagine your new granite countertops whatever it is that you're wanting imagine that in right there that drifting off stage that helps you so much and you could do this even with your self concept theory. and I'll use me as an example again imagine experiencing life with ease you know, not having to work so hard physically, but using your mind to create everything that you're wanting and just things just coming to you. <laughs> that you're so cold with manifesting that you could think of something and it just comes to you, which is how it really is supposed to be. Working with our minds instead of our bodies so much. This is what the Christ anointed one did. And in, in the same power we have, greater work shall you do. So that's 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 what I do at night. <laughs> and it's really interesting, you know. Um, <laughs> I had this uh, this idea that I wanted somebody to do a certain thing on my existing property, and. 
and it unfolds this unfolds i'm trying to show you how it unfolds to you and you don't have to do nothing but be still and watch the universe yield to you i thought of it and i went to sleep drifting off just thinking about it smiling as if it was done already and then i was experiencing it already in less than a week i went outside to check my mailbox and they had this man outside that i spoke to that did this type of work yeah, they gave me a great deal on doing this the thing that i wanted the desire of my heart and actually today is it's today friday today is friday yeah october 29th and he's coming over on monday to do the thing that i just all i all i did was tell the universe this is how cold we are with this thing when we really pay attention and do the mind work instead of the physical work he coming over monday to do this very thing that i wanted i didn't have to go looking through no no contacts. I didn't have to go ask this one and that one. I have to. Nope. I saw him doing it. And then the trip part about it is that I told my stepdaddy about it, this person. And he was like, oh, yeah, that's the man. Yeah, yeah. Get him to do it. Oh, and he gave you a real good price. And then come to find out he had did other people's, in, you know, property within my family that gave good reviews already so i had my reviews and everything that i needed he's already licensed and insured and gave me a great deal and so my point in sharing that simple thing with you is that you can create in the universe will bring your creation to you so we think we have to do my default setting was that i always had to do but that's not the case not when you God, that's not the case. So let's start working on that self-concept because that self-concept, they have a little trauma there. Maybe you forgot about it. But whatever place you are in your life, if you pay attention to the patterns, you're the common denominator. And once you get a handle on you, or better get a handle or control of your mindset, you'll be free. And who the Lord set free, and I like to say, who the law set free, is free indeed. Because the law of assumption and your self-concept is running this show, God. You could believe that or not. <laughs> when you're ready for it, you'll digest it. This video is from my heart to yours, baby. I'm about to go run, go jog, and, and talk to the universe. Be blessed.